Welcome to Future Human Science. Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating and complex topics in physics, superconductors. These remarkable materials exhibit properties that can seem almost magical, enabling electricity to flow without resistance. Let's unravel the science behind superconductors and discover what makes them work. Superconductors are materials that, below a certain critical temperature, can conduct electricity with zero electrical resistance. This means that once an electric current is started in a superconducting material, it can flow indefinitely without losing energy. This is a stark contrast to normal conductive materials, like copper or aluminum, where electrical resistance generates heat and leads to energy loss. The phenomenon of superconductivity was first discovered in 1911 by Dutch physicist Heike Kamerlingh-Onnes. He found that the electrical resistance of mercury vanished when it was cooled to a temperature of about 4.2 Kelvin, which is just above absolute zero. This discovery marked the beginning of our understanding of superconductivity. At the heart of superconductivity lies the behavior of electrons in a material. In a normal conductor, electrons move through a lattice of positively charged atomic nuclei. As they move, they scatter off impurities and lattice vibrations, causing resistance. However, in a superconductor, the electrons form pairs known as Cooper pairs. These pairs move through the lattice without scattering, thanks to a unique quantum mechanical effect. The theory that explains this phenomenon is called BCS theory, named after physicists John Bardeen, Leon Cooper, and Robert Schrieffer, who developed it in 1957. According to BCS theory, the formation of Cooper pairs is facilitated by an attractive interaction mediated by lattice vibrations, or phonons. When the temperature drops below the critical temperature, the vibrations of the lattice are minimized, allowing Cooper pairs to form and move through the material without resistance. One of the remarkable features of superconductors is the Meissner effect. When a material transitions into a superconducting state, it expels all magnetic fields from its interior. This results in perfect diamagnetism, meaning that superconductors can repel magnetic fields completely. This effect allows superconductors to levitate above a magnet, a phenomenon known as magnetic levitation or maglev. Superconductors are categorized into two main types, Type 1 and Type 2. Type 1 superconductors exhibit a complete Meissner effect and can only withstand relatively low magnetic fields before losing their superconducting properties. They are usually pure metals like lead or mercury. Type 2 superconductors, on the other hand, can tolerate much stronger magnetic fields and show partial expulsion of magnetic flux. These materials include many alloys and high-temperature superconductors like yttrium-barium-copper oxide. High-temperature superconductors, discovered in the 1980s, operate at temperatures significantly higher than traditional superconductors. While they still require cooling with liquid nitrogen, which is far less expensive than the liquid helium needed for low-temperature superconductors, they have expanded the practical applications of superconductivity. These materials promise to revolutionize various technologies due to their higher operating temperatures. Superconductors have numerous practical applications. In medical imaging, superconducting magnets are used in MRI machines to produce detailed images of the body's interior. In transportation, Superconductors enable maglev trains to float above tracks, reducing friction and allowing for incredibly smooth and fast travel. In energy systems, superconducting cables and components can transmit electricity with minimal losses, making power grids more efficient. Despite their potential, the widespread adoption of superconductors faces challenges. 
The primary obstacle is the cost of cooling materials to their critical temperatures. Researchers are continually exploring ways to develop new materials that can become superconducting at even higher temperatures, which would make the technology more practical and cost-effective. In conclusion, superconductors are a remarkable aspect of modern physics and technology. Their ability to conduct electricity without resistance and repel magnetic fields opens up exciting possibilities for various fields, from medicine to transportation. As research continues, we may see even more innovative applications and breakthroughs that harness the extraordinary properties of superconductors. If you enjoyed this exploration of superconductors and want to stay updated on the latest advancements in science and technology, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. We'd love to hear your thoughts on superconductors. What applications do you find most exciting? Share your comments below. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of superconductors. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of science and technology.